Hello all, today's book is called Dinosaur Sleepover by Pamela Duncan Edwards and illustrated by Deborah Allwright. What would you do if it was your cousin's birthday and he invited you and Dinosaur to a sleepover party? What if Dinosaur looked puzzled? You'd say, we'll all have fun at the party, Dinosaur. Then everyone gets to stay overnight. What if Dinosaur shook his handsome dinosaur head and said in a firm voice, a dinosaur can't stay overnight because his family would miss him too much. You'd say, that's okay, Dinosaur. We can ask Pickles to look after our family while we're gone. What if Dinosaur tapped his sparkly dinosaur teeth and said in an anxious voice, Dinosaurs have to brush their teeth before they go to bed. I wouldn't have my toothbrush with me. You'd say, that's no problem, Dinosaur. We'll take our things in your stripy wash bag and we'll put your toothbrush in the pocket on the side. What if Dinosaur blinked his bright dinosaur eyes and said in a worried voice, If a dinosaur did go visiting, he'd have to take clean pyjamas. My pyjamas are in the wash. You'd say, but you've got two pairs of pyjamas, dinosaur. Your other pair is folded and ready to pack. What if dinosaur made himself very small and said in a nervous voice, I'm afraid they'll forget to come for us in the morning. What if we have to sleep over forever and ever? You'd give dinosaur a hug and say, I'll tell you what, dinosaur. We'll write a big note and stick it on the fridge. We'll say, please pick us up tomorrow at 10. I bet that dinosaur would wrinkle his bony dinosaur forehead and think very hard. Then he'd say, OK, and off you'd go. What if you were walking up the path to the party and Dinosaur gave a gasp and cried, I didn't bring Teddy. A dinosaur can't sleep without his Teddy. You'd laugh and say, silly old Dinosaur, you put your Teddy in your special bag. His head is poking out of the top. And I bet Dinosaur would laugh too. What if you opened the door to the party and everyone said, Hello! I bet Dinosaur would smile his huge toothy dinosaur smile and run to join the games. Then you'd all play musical chairs and hide and seek and catch the dinosaur's towel and lots of other games until the birthday cake arrived. And after your cousin had blown out all the candles, I bet the dinosaur would eat a dino-sized piece of cake. When it was time for bed, I bet everyone would chatter and giggle and maybe have a pillow fight. Then you'd laugh and laugh until you were all so tired you just had to go to sleep. What if you were snuggled deep down in your sleeping bag and Dinosaur whispered in his happy dinosaur voice, When it's our birthday, should we have a sleepover party? Then I bet you'd say, Great idea, Dinosaur. The end. Thank you for listening. Look for my next story.